You? What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV, the extra video of this week. I hope you guys are excited. I am wearing the red shoes. You know what that means. It's a leg day. This will be the first leg day of this kind of new program that you guys have seen. And um, it's a little weird, it's a little different. I'm excited. Let's get it started. Cause it feels so good to forget about you and me. Okay, 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 okay. So I know I said I was gonna stick to the plan. Chill out, I just wanted to see where my squat was at. And to be honest, I've lost another few pounds and it's gone down and that's disappointing. But we're gonna build it back up with this program. We're gonna build it back up. We're gonna trust the process, drop the weight, go for the eight reps and see where we're at in a couple of weeks. See, a big, big, big mistake that people make is trying to make gains with these bad boys. When the reality is, you make gains with these. 1.25 kilos, 2.5 kilos. If you add them on every single week, oh, I'm sweating. If you add a plate like that on every single week, every single, you know, fortnight, three weeks, at once a month, you know, that over the one month period, two month period, three month period will make a massive, Massive difference and before you know it, there'll be three of these bad boys on here. That can be applied to not only squatting, but every single exercise. People focus too much on the big numbers. People focus, I mean, I'm kind of hypocritical because I just tried to do that today. But do not focus on the big ones. That was just to see where I was at. Now I know most of you watching this are a, you know, a similar level to me in terms of you're relatively new to training. It's within the last you know, two, three, four, even five years of training. Even though I am no expert, right? I have still recorded pretty much every single thing that I've done in the gym. And what I've done, what I've learned from recording that, from looking back at that and watching it, analyzing how I can progress forward and looking at other people's knowledge, other people's you know, academic studies, all of that kind of stuff, as well as the most known people in the industry, everybody talks about progressive overload and it's something that people do not use enough in their training. If you want to see progress, forget these bad boys, you need these ones. I know time heals our wounds Cause the scars are where prove that it's true And the ones that bleed remind me Of the war that we went through So this will be the first time a lot of you guys see me kind of properly using the um, the new leg extension machine, uh, leg extension hamstring curl machine, commercial. Purely because I don't tend to make a lot of leg day videos. I mean, this piece of equipment is vital in terms of the progression of the home gym and the equipment that we actually kind of need in terms of our progression and progressive overload and all that kind of stuff. But I actually tend to find leg day videos pretty boring. And I know a lot of people in the industry kind of feel the exact same, because at the end of the day, you just see somebody going down and up down and up and that's pretty much it because there's only a certain amount that your legs can do whereas if you're bench pressing everybody loves bench press people love compound movements especially upper body ones but i just had to squeeze this video in purely because you guys haven't had a proper glimpse at the new piece of equipment yet and i mean come on isn't she just a thing of beauty okay what are you doing in here hey hey what are you doing in here? So basically, Jesse has had to nip to the vet, and so it's gonna be a little treat for Flick. 
Wait, wait, where are you going? She can hear them leaving. Dad's basically just taking Jesse to the vets right now. You can obviously hear them getting in the van and stuff out the front, because look. Can you hear them, Flicky? Hey? Can you hear them? Yeah? Next up. Walking lunges. I am going with nine kilos for these, purely because I am a little whiny when it comes to lunges. Oh god. I'm gonna do them like this. Squeezing the glutes at the top, keeping the heel on the floor. Oh my god. I hate lunges. That's another thing with this plan, is that usually I would have a break when it comes to my quads. I'll go quads, hammies, quads, hammies, quads, hammies. This has been quads, 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 and some more quads. Makes a massive difference not having the rest time in between, you know? All about that volume, that progressive overload. This won't be on nine kilos for long, don't worry. Ah, oh, let's go, come on. God. Ah. Told you. Da, 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 da. Let's tango flicky. Hey, pretty lady. Tango flicky. Da, 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 da. Let's tango flicky. <laughs> Thing is, again with this plan, there's they like kind of separate quads and hammies, but then at the same time, there's more sets. I'm doing more reps, so the weight that I would usually do is even lower. It's it's weird. It's a kind of weird for my central nervous system to actually get used to because I'm so used to doing X Y Z for X Y Z reps. That's just what I've done for the entire two years of my training. But all of a sudden, that's changing. So it's a little bit different, it's a little bit taxing on my central nervous system to get used to. But my God, I'm knackered. It's a good job I love legs. Today's post workout is going to be leans, whey protein. Isolate in the raspberry and white chocolate flavor. That will, whoa. Yeah. That will be mixed with 200 to 250 mils. I'm not really too fussed about how much, to be honest. Anything in and around 250. I actually prefer mixing protein shakes with um, milk rather than water, purely because it makes it a bit thicker, a bit creamier, and um, I don't know, just kind of adds to the taste, but. A lot of people don't like milk, so. Oh! This gets a solid eight from me, but I love white chocolate, so. Mm. Charlotte's gonna try it for the first time. Completely unbiased opinion. It smells like vanilla yogurt. Okay. It tastes like vanilla yogurt. Tastes like. It does kind of taste like vanilla yogurt to be fair. If you like those Onken um, vanilla yogurts that you can get from your local supermarket, then be sure to pick up raspberry and white chocolate from Lean. Okay everybody, 
Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, YouTube. I hope you are all doing good. Oh my god. I'm just gonna stand over here, just health and safety. But, right, okay, so today's uh, video is coming to a close. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do me a favor and drop a massive, massive like, a comment down below, put your thoughts. Let's get a conversation going in the comment section, purely because I've gone to the effort to put up another, another extra video. Liam, are you a full-time YouTuber? No, no I'm not. The next video you guys will see is something interesting. It involves this. I'm sure you can guess what it is. If you follow my Instagram, you'll have a hint, you know, I'm actually doing it today and I've been filming this and it's a part of my day. You, you know, stay tuned, it'll be live on Sunday, I don't know, Sunday evening, about seven, some, something like that, right? Okay, so one more time, guys, I'm gonna ask you to take two seconds. Please drop a like and a comment down below if you have enjoyed. It would mean the world to me. It would help us grow together. We will grow. So I have a training session and some more stuff to eat today. Hmm, another hint. Okay, cool, right. I'll see you guys Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. And drop a like again. See you in the next one.